The Las Vegas atrocity continues to dominate the news. Well, not surprisingly, the massacre in Las Vegas has reignited the gun control debate in America. The attack has prompted howls of outrage from many. These mass shootings in the United States keep on happening, with no prospect whatsoever of this one being the last. It's a very, very sad day for me, personally. <laughs> it's not about you, you piece of shit! <laughs> Not only is he self-obsessed, he continued to dodge the issue the world is talking about. He refused to even address the question of gun laws. I love gun, gun violence problem. But we're not going to talk about that today. Not going to talk about it? It was the worst mass shooting in American history. And he's like, this is hardly the time. <laughs> Let's talk sausages. <laughs> when an incident happens, you discuss the incident. Like, if my girlfriend caught me with my dick in a jam jar, I would... <laughs> I wouldn't be able to go, this is hardly the time! <laughs> How dare you cheapen this moment! <laughs> we need to talk about gun violence in America, because nobody in power seems to be blaming guns. I mean, an NRA spokesperson dismissed the Las Vegas massacre by claiming feet are just as deadly as guns. <laughs> feet <laughs> are just as deadly as guns. Oscar Pistorius. <laughs> it's... The NRA weren't the only ones. Trump's friends at Fox News were making some outrageous claims. If that psychopath had, God forbid, driven a truck into that crowd and killed 100 people, would we be talking about truck control? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> As humans, we learn from our mistakes. It's called evolution. <laughs> if a bad thing keeps happening, we fix it. That's why cars have seat belts and airbags and automatic brakes. We learn from mistakes. If I've had a curry, I don't go trampoline. <laughs> the reason there are so many gun deaths in America is because they have a ridiculous amount of guns. Americans own more guns than any other country in the world, 300 million weapons in all. That's 89 for every 100 people. 89 guns for every 100 people. In the UK, it's six. And what do we hardly have in this country? Gun death. And some Americans are like, you're English, you don't understand. If you had a gun, you'd feel safe. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I'd use it. <laughs> like, I'm English, we're angry all the time. <laughs> all we've got is sarcasm. <laughs> Imagine if we had a gun, it'd be a nightmare. <laughs> I held the door open for you, you didn't thank me! <laughs> well, I can't believe you made a cup of tea by putting the milk in first! <laughs> You're talking! <laughs> why we don't have guns. Also, they're tricky to buy, whereas in America, there are more gun shops than Starbucks, McDonald's and supermarkets put together. It's easier to buy a gun than a Happy Meal. <laughs> da, 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 it's ludicrous. <laughs> and again, you hear Americans going, I need my gun to protect me from ISIS. Bollocks. Americans are more likely to be killed by a toddler than a terrorist. And yet still, the NRA say guns don't kill people, people do. As a rule of thumb, if you answer a question by going like this, you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it, have you been drinking? No. <laughs> have you been sleeping with my sister? No. <laughs> Did you put your dick in the jam jar? Absolutely not. <laughs> and the very idea that you would suggest that I would do a thing like that to something as sacred as <laughs> Sweet Sweet Jam <laughs> is ridiculous. In America, semi-automatic rifles are legal, but these products are banned. Kinder Eggs, Brie, <laughs> and in Alabama, 
you're not allowed a sex toy. <laughs> Over 12,000 people have died from guns this year. Nobody has been dildo to death. <laughs> it just hasn't happened. That's right, madam, what a way to go. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I shouldn't be joking. This is a really serious matter, because some Americans cling to the Second Amendment, which says... The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. And that was written in 1791. Here's the kind of guns they had then. Close your fizzle. Fully cock it back. Aim. And fire. Here's the guns we have now. So probably time for a change. <laughs> but it's never going to happen, is it? It's never going to happen. Because Trump talks about the Second Amendment like an infant. The Second Amendment purpose is to guarantee our right to defend ourselves and our families. We need that. In fact, I have a license to carry in New York. Can you believe that? Nobody knows that. He's such a child. America needs an adult, not a kid. People are going to keep dying until that gets changed. And Americans go, you can't change the Constitution. You can. It's been amended 27 times in 200 years. Trump wants to make America great again, so make it great. Get out the tipex, change the Constitution, and start saving lives. <laughs> Yet another disaster has hit America. At least 58 people have died. Some 515 have been injured in a mass shooting in Las Vegas. The gunman has been named as 64-year-old Stephen Paddock, a white man who lived nearby. Police describe him as a lone wolf attacker. It's the worst mass shooting in US history. Hundreds of lives have been ruined. He wasn't a lone wolf. He was a pathetic wanker. There's been, there's been 273 mass shootings in America this year. It's never going to end unless someone does something. People were praising Trump for his presidential response. It wasn't presidential. He's the most powerful man in America. He wasn't talking about gun reform. He was talking about Jesus. To the families of the victims, we are praying for you, and we are here for you. And we ask God to help see you through this very dark period. You've asked God to help them? Don't worry, I've spoken to the magic man. <laughs> there is no magic man. You're the magic man. <laughs> You're the president of the United States. <laughs> Don't talk about God. Let people know where to donate blood. Offer your Vegas hotel as a shelter. Or maybe stand up to the fucking gun lobby. <laughs> but then he's... He's never gonna do that. He took $30 million from the NRA last year. And look what he said would have prevented the Paris attack. Paris has the toughest gun control just about in the entire world. France has the toughest gun control just about in the entire world. If a few of those people that are now dead, if a few of those people had guns strapped to their ankles or strapped to their waist, you wouldn't have the problem. You don't solve a problem with a problem. <laughs> you don't put out a fire with a blowtorch. <laughs> He's drowning. Fetch my hose. <laughs> Trump will blame anything except for guns. You know, no matter what you do, guns, no guns, it doesn't matter. You have people that are mentally ill, and they're going to come through the cracks, and they're going to do things that people will not even believe are possible. It's not guns. It's mentally ill people. And if you think that's moronic, look what he did in February. He signed a bill allowing mentally ill people to buy guns. <laughs> and you're like, what? <laughs> you can't blame them for gun crime and then give them <laughs> a gun!
The other thing I don't understand, why didn't he call him a terrorist? We all saw it, we saw the footage, it looked pretty terrifying to me. We all know the reason he didn't call him a terrorist is because he was a 64-year-old white guy. You know, if he'd have been brown, Trump would have been like, ban the Muslims, shut down the borders, storm the mosques. <laughs> but because he was white, Trump's there, well, yeah, there's nothing we can do. <laughs> Our thoughts and prayers are with you. <laughs> Something needs to change. And I know there'll be people going, guns don't kill people, people do. Yeah? Well, prayers don't help people, people do. So stop praying and start leaving. <laughs>